Hey guys, this is Late A's Eyed. What you're looking at here is I'm making bromine today. However, I am doing it in a different way from most of what you all have seen. This way gives you contamination free from other halides. So all I've done here is what you're looking at here is this is my reaction pot. I have charged that with uh, what 12.28, I think. Yes, 12.28 grams of potassium permanganate. And in there also is... Um, what do I have? 40 grams of sodium bromide and the least amount of water that I could dissolve it in. So that is charged into the reaction vessel. And then if we come up here, you can see I have got 32 grams of 98% sulfuric acid charged to my addition funnel. And then otherwise, I am just set up for basic simple distillation. Um, except for over here, you can see that I have my trap. And what you're looking at in the beaker there is sodium thiosulfate however uh, even though I rinsed the beaker um, it was the same beaker that I stirred up the sodium bromide in, so it actually reduced some of the um, sulfur already that's why it's already kind of white looking uh, but there's plenty in there though so um, I'm actually just shooting this on top of my tripod by hand because my bracket for my phone's inside I'm gonna go get that and we'll get started here Now you guys can see what it looks like after it's been going for a little bit. You can see all the bromine in the system. I've got a little bit collected here. Normally because the exotherm is so good with this reaction, or so bad actually I should say, you don't need any external heat. But it is like 30 something degrees Fahrenheit out here right now in my lab. So of course I've got to apply some external heat to it. Nothing can ever be easy. 